Somebody look at your neighbor and say, she finna bring it tonight. I said, somebody look at your neighbor and say, she finna bring it tonight. And if you ain't got a neighbor, look at yourself and say, she finna bring it to fuck a night. Oh, we gonna jump right into it, because that's how we do it over here. Somebody say so, so mad down. Q talk to us about the group H-Town. The group H-Town consists of a set of twins by the name Dino and Shazam. Y'all remember them? Dino and Shazam. And their friend was also part of the group. His name was G.I., like G.I. Joe. The group H-Town was from Houston, Texas, and their rise to fame started in the early to the mid-90s. Okay, y'all remember some of their songs. It's the thin line between love and hate. Oh, yes, it is. And somebody rocking, knocking the boots. Don't make me feel like I'm by myself. I know y'all remember that. Now I feel like going deeper down this rabbit hole tonight. I just want to jump into this rabbit hole and go deeper. Is that our motherfucker right? Now I'm coming to tell y'all, the group H-Town was locked in chains. Y'all heard me, right? I said the group H-Town was locked in chains and a decision needed to be made. A decision had to be made. I want y'all to check this video out right here. I'm going to show y'all this video and I'm going to come back and I'm going to talk about this video in case you didn't overstand it. In the house with us, H-Town from Houston. Yes. What's up, fellas? I'm surprised we got y'all in the house. Look like y'all just got out the big house, man. What's, yeah. what's up? Wait, y'all gotta stand up, man. See how the guards brought y'all in today. Yeah. Look at this. What, what happened? Well, this, is a, this is a big story, man. You know, we gotta tell, you know. All right, well, y'all, you can sit down. I just want everybody to see that. But, yeah, all right. Okay, well, you got a new album out. Yeah. All right. Do you feel good about the album? Oh, yes. Is the album strong? It, oh, the album. The, the, this is saying the album is strong. It's just saying that, you know, we not, you know, we feel, you know, that we're not getting the push that we need, you know what I'm saying? From the record we're not, company. We're not getting too much uh, push, you know what I'm saying? We're not getting too much support, you it's know, promotion. we're not getting no no promotion, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, and we, we, we about, we're having a serious problem, it's a crisis, right, problem, now. You know, it's a crisis right, right now, you know what I'm right. saying? And everybody thinks it's the group, you know, that the music yeah. ain't good, but it ain't us, you know what I'm saying? And it's, it's just that we're not getting the push that it's we not being need. promoted to the people. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, we Why? gotta get the push. That's something we really don't know, you we know what I'm saying? We really don't know, you know, I just guess, it's, you know, the, you know, dealing with, you know, the business. I guess that's the only yeah. way we can explain it. But as far as all, the whole purpose is to let our fans know yeah. what's really yeah. going down. But, but don't, you're already not getting a push. Don't you think by coming out like this and making it so public, do you think that that has a chance well, of well, backfiring I mean, and hurting you? This is a stand further? that we had to take, you know what I'm saying? Because our fans yeah. know that we do good music and they know that you know that we are a good group, you know, yeah. that we can sing and everything. But you know, a lot of people tend to walk us up on the street and go, "Man, what's up, man? H Town, man, y'all fell off this time." You know? Yeah, and it's like you know, we feel we, we feel we locked down. This is how we feel right now. Right, this we feel like we should feel. just be convicts and yeah. jail. We locked down. Cars locked down. And uh, the the people the people that we're dealing with that's behind us, they're not behind us. They trying right. you know destroy our careers, and, you know, we're holding talking. us down. You know, that's how we feel, you know? You're talking about your label. That's loose. I mean, we're not saying, saying no names. names. We don't want to we're just no, saying just putting no, say no, it's, no if the names. But, you know, it's everybody know. You know everybody saying? know. You know, we want to get to the, the Pacific with it. But we feel, you know, they're not behind us. They're trying to destroy our careers. You know, our know careers. And it's like, it's the same thing. It's when we used to take up for certain things that when people would say about certain people, we would always take up for it, you know, and it always, now that it slapped us back in the face. People would say, well, man, you know they're going to do this to you, do that to you. We was like, nah, it ain't like that. But then all that came down, it slapped us right back in our face. And now, like you know, told you it would. Yeah, and everybody yeah. was telling us yeah. that that was what was happening to us. But now, you know, and then on second now, people was... Now, when you look at this video, you see the twins, Dino and Shazam. They chained together. Go back if you got to. I said they chained together by their hands and their feet. G.I., he ain't chained together with them by the hands and the feet. I want y'all to keep that in mind. If you look at the twins, they wearing the color blue. And if you look at G.I., he wearing the color white. Before I break that shit down for you, 
I want to talk a little bit more about this group, H-Town. Shazam wanted to keep the group H-Town. I jumps right into it. Listen to me closely. I said Shazam, the twin brother Shazam. He wanted to keep the group H-Town. But he still, he still wanted to sing with them. But he also wanted to have his own solo career. Shazam was known as being the leader of the motherfucking group. And nine times out of ten, the leader of the group is the one to make the final decision. Catch that shit on fleek. If you notice, Dino said something in that video. Did you hear what he said? He said, everybody know. Dino said, everybody know. Dino said it's folks that done came to them and told them what the powers that be was going to do to them. Y'all heard what he said? And Dino said they did not believe that shit. He said they ignored the warnings. He said folks start to tell them the blood sacrifices going on in the game. I'm going to break it down because I know y'all missed it. Folks start to tell them about these blood sacrifices. What they had to do to level up in their motherfucking career. People begin to warn H-Town. They said, if y'all don't play the game, if y'all don't play the way that they want y'all to play, guess what? They gonna take y'all the fuck up out of here. They gonna get y'all out of here. The powers that be got a hold of H-Town. And they start to believe everything that those people warn them about. Overstand that. I said, put the, the pieces of the puzzle of this video together. Let's go deeper down this rabbit hole. Now I want you to go back and look at that video again. Because I want to show you something. I'm going to show you how these fuckers work. The twins, Dino and Shazam, they was chained together by their hands and their feet. What did that mean? What that mean was Shazam had to decide if he was going to sacrifice his brother Dino. Okay, he didn't really want to do it. But he wanted the, the rewards of his career. But he knew that was his twin brother and he just didn't want to take his motherfucker twin brother up out of here. So Shazam, check it out. Shazam only had a, a certain amount of time to decide if he was going to sacrifice his brother Dino. That's what them, them chains being chained by the hand and the feet. That's what that represented. G.I. was not handcuffed to Dino and Shazam. Y'all seen the shit. What did that mean? That meant that G.I. was safe. He didn't have to worry about nothing else. He was safe. He was willing to go along with everything and anything that had to happen. The powers that be wanted a blood sacrifice. Look at that word, blood sacrifice. When you got a group and you got a, a cousin or a brother, whatever it is, they want that blood. I said they want that blood, motherfucker, relative. That's what kept G.I. safe. Because they wanted that blood rep relative. They wanted Shazam to sacrifice Dino. And I told you, Shazam was the leader of the group. So that left Dino to be the blood sacrifice for the group H-Town. Listen to me. Why you think G.I. sat there? He was quiet as a motherfucker mouse the whole time. Ask yourself, why was this motherfucker sitting there quiet the whole time? Because he was safe. And he ain't need to say shit. The argument was between who? The battle was between who? G.I. and motherfucker Dino. Look at the colors. I said go back and look at the colors they had on. Put it together yourself. Go see what the color white mean. And put it together. Go see what the color blue mean. And put it together. And if you can't get it. I'll come back and give it to you. Read between the lines. They was telling us the shit in a video. Dino was killed. Oh, we jumps right into it. Dino was killed in a car accident in Houston, Texas. He left the recording studio with his pregnant girlfriend who was driving the car. She came to come pick Dino up, so she was the one driving. Their vehicle was hit by an SUV. This SUV had ran a red light and hit Dino and his girlfriend. Dino girlfriend was pronounced dead at the scene. And Dino died on his way to the hospital. Come on and let's do this fucker right here. Dino died January 28th, 2003. One plus two plus eight plus two plus three equal what? 16. One times six equal what? 
six. How old was Dino when he died? He was 28 years old. Two minus eight equal what? Six. How many people died in this car accident? Because I don't think y'all paid attention. I said, how many people died in this car accident? Three people died in this car accident. Dino, his girlfriend, and the baby. Okay, the baby died as well. Because the girlfriend was pregnant. So there you go. There go your three six right there. Dino released a song called The Day I Die two weeks before he died. These motherfuckers knew what they was doing. This was a blood sacrifice for Shazam and G.I. These motherfuckers sitting back like they don't know shit. Crying all these motherfucking lying tears and shit. Knowing exactly what the fuck went down. They played both of their asses. I said they played Shazam and motherfucker G.I. Because these motherfuckers' career didn't go nowhere. Go look at how many times Shaz Shazam and G.I. tried to get back into the industry. And ain't shit happened. They already knew what was, what was going to happen to H-Town. They ain't want nothing else to do with them after they sacrificed Dino. I said, fuck these motherfuckers. They're going to give us some blood and we ain't going to give them shit. We're going to make them think that they're going to get something. And we ain't going to give them a damn thing. Somebody say, well, they was twin brothers, so so. I don't give a shit up. I don't care about them being no twin brothers. I said money make you do crazy things. Like take your own brother up out of here. Because you want to be a motherfucker greedy fucker. You think it's going to be your name in motherfucking lights. And one thing you got to understand about twins is they love to compete. I don't give a shit what nobody say. I done raised kids almost all my motherfucking life. And every set of twins I know, they love to compete for attention. Because that's how they is. So you got to show this one. Look, if you rub that one back, you got to rub the other one back. If you rub that one feet, make sure you rub the other one feet. They get jealous fast as hell. I told you I wasn't going to tarry too long. These dates don't come up for nothing. These numbers just ain't coming up for nothing. He was a sacrifice for Shazam in G.I. Joe. G.I.'s black ass. That's who he was a sacrifice for. Go look at the shit yourself. Y'all be good.